Hi, I'm Melissa, and in this video, we'll be going over the assembly and wiring of our ultrasonic sensor, also known as a distance sensor, since we will be using it to measure from our sensor to another object. This HC SRO4 ultrasonic sensor works similarly to bats, dolphins, and whales, as it uses ultrasonic waves. Let's get started mounting. Here are the parts we'll use for our ultrasonic sensor assembly. We'll have four 20 centimeter male female wires, our ultrasonic sensor mount, four odd 80 screws and nuts, two 330 ohm resistors, two LEDs, I prefer the red and the green, two LED adapters, a half inch screw and your 440 nut, and finally, of course, our ultrasonic sensor. Let's take a closer look at the back of our ultrasonic sensor. Our HC SRO4 ultrasonic sensor has four pin connections. Each pin connection is denoted below. The first thing that we'll have a look at is our VCC, which is corresponding to this pin here. This will be where we supply our five volts. Next, you'll see our trig, short for trigger. Then we have our echo pin, which is corresponding to this pin. And finally, our ground, which corresponds to this pin. I will begin by connecting our female end of our red wire to VCC. Next, We'll use yellow for our trig pin. Next, we'll use green for our echo pin. And finally, we'll use black for our ground pin. Now that our ultrasonic sensor is secure, Let's go to the next step. The next step will be to integrate our LEDs with our ultrasonic sensor mount. To do this, I will use our LED adapter and I will insert it through the front with the flange facing frontward. I will go ahead and do both now. To place your LED into the after, gently align and give it a gentle push. It might take a little bit of force, but be gentle. Once you've placed both LEDs, the next step will be to insert our ultrasonic sensor. What we'll do for this is gently align with the center oval and push forward evenly. Keep in mind, all of these components are fragile, so be careful. We'll now use our small odd 80 screws to secure our ultrasonic sensor. Once you've put all four screws in, we'll add our nuts to secure. Be careful not to over tighten. Once we've tightened all four nuts, we're ready to integrate our ultrasonic sensor mount with our PiBot chassis. We'll use this center screw hole on the bottom to do so. And to prepare, I'll take my half inch screw and insert it into this hole. We'll hold off the wires to the side. We will use this left side to mount. And I'm gonna hold it up gently and then place this in the center and then use our nut to hold this in place. To tighten, I can either use my needle nose pliers or my finger to hold in place while I then 
tighten my screw until my mount is secure. Now the trickiest part will be routing our ultrasonic sensor wires underneath our stem board mount like this so we can take it to the breadboard and our stem board. We'll start with our trigger yellow pin which will go to our stem board pin 2. Our echo green goes to 4 and then we will be left with our ground and our power wires. I have taken jumper wires from our stem board to our breadboard so that I can easily use our breadboard to harvest our 5 volts and then take our ultrasonic sensor ground to our common ground. Congratulations! You have completed wiring your ultrasonic sensor. Now, at this point, you'll want to test out your wiring by running a program. Download the sample program called Ultrasonic Sensor Test, which I'll do right now with you. And what this sample program will do will show you what the distance reading between your ultrasonic sensor and my hand is on your serial monitor, which you can access from your tools. Try it out and you'll notice that you can see the distance in both centimeters and in inches. Now, let's wire your LEDs to integrate them with your ultrasonic sensor. To do this, connect your black ends of your LEDs to your common ground on your breadboard. Don't forget that your LEDs will require resistors to limit the current so you don't blow your LEDs. We'll use jumper wires to do this to our breadboard. Now let's go try a program. All right, now your second sample program is called Ultrasonic Sensor Test with LED. This sample program has a variable called maximum distance, which is set to be equivalent to 10 centimeters. This means that when my hand or an obstacle is within 10 centimeters of our ultrasonic sensor, our red LED will light up. I have plugged in my stem board to my computer, downloaded it, so I will reset and see if this works. Awesome. This means that your LEDs and ultrasonic sensor are fully integrated with our PiBot. Try this out and we'll try our final sample program. Now, although the last two sample programs were great, let's try something a little more complex. This program will be for obstacle avoidance or what I like to call the wanderer. The sample program for this is called Obstacle Avoidance with LEDs. I've downloaded this and will show you what it does. When I turn on my motor, you'll notice that the robot will go forward infinitely while having its green LED displayed. And when I put an obstacle in front of it, it'll back up, turn red, and then go forward green. Let's try this out. Congratulations on your working ultrasonic sensor and PiBot. There are extensive comments on each of your sample codes so that you can easily modify the codes. Also, try writing some of these programs on your own and trying something more complex such as maze navigation. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.